turning now to almost a decade long fight in the making tonight. The family of Tyrone West still searching for answers in his death. West was killed back in 2013 after city police pulled him over in North Baltimore during a traffic stop. A vigil and protest was held tonight, kicking off what his family calls a new campaign for accountability. And WJZ Live at 11 o'clock, Andy Rose Ramos was at tonight's protest and has why this going beyond Tyrone West's story. Andy Rose. Rick and Vic, this vigil started out with Tyrone West's sister who says that her brother was killed by those police officers, even as officials maintained that their use of force was justified. But this rally also brought out other families who tell me that their loved ones were also killed at the hands of police. Now they are demanding answers in the name of justice. A sister speaking out for justice. I am the sister of Tyrone West. My brother Tyrone West was murdered. In 2013, Tyrone West was pulled over by police off Kitmore Road in North Baltimore. Police said West tried to get away. He began to throw punches. He was kicking. Um, he tried to get up. He tried to run. But Corinthia Servants, who was inside West's car, says she saw police use force. They were just beating him. West died moments later. The medical examiner's office saying it was a combination of his heart condition, exacerbated by the struggle with police. But his family say police killed him. Put these killer cops in cell blood. The state's attorney at the time cleared police officers of any wrongdoing, saying their use of force was justified. No justice! No peace! But nearly 10 years later, West's sister is demanding state's attorney Marilyn Mosby to take up the case, joined by other families. Marilyn Mosby, you stand for justice, right? Yeah. So my question is, when are you going to do something about it? Donnell was tragically murdered. The police, including Donnell Rochester's aunt. Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! Just last month, Rochester was shot after police say he drove his car into an officer, also during a traffic stop. As we were making our approach, and then advanced that vehicle and struck one of our officers. We will keep fighting so this can't happen to nobody else. They can't keep doing this to us. Now, Vic, back in 2017, the West family did accept a settlement with the state of Maryland for Tyrone's death for hundreds of thousands of dollars. But her sister said that is still not justice. Now, WJZ also reached out to Baltimore City State's Attorney's Office, Marilyn Mosby's office, to see if she plans on taking up any of these cases as the families demanded her to do so tonight. We have yet to hear back from her office. Reporting live, I'm Annie Rose Ramos for WJZ.